coming up to the area of the former border. This is Rudolfstein, it looks like a very nice place. I saw there's a hotel there for 29 euros the night. Um, I'm sure it's not as good as the 25 euros I, I paid in, uh, in, in Berlin. But uh, I only want to go the right somewhere. Uh, this is a tourist area. Isn't this beautiful? This is the this is the Bavaria of the uh, of the uh, comic uh, what's it, of legend <laughs> I mean, comic books. Wonderful weir. Going to this little town this town here. I can't believe that this was the border here. Now I, I do appreciate that the border may have been on this river a bit further up. I don't have a map in the car which is sufficiently detailed and as I haven't bothered to look this up on the internet before I came here and work it out uh, it's quite wonderful there's a house down there yeah, it's not like looks older <laughs> looks older than it is, 1999 Spanberg, Stadt Hirschberg what you can do when you come off the motorway. What a wonderful little village here. Can't believe that I've actually gone off the East German border because there's that bit. Not absolutely no evidence on it. Oh no, 
I've found all single names like this, aren't I? Oh. So I've just spoken to one of the uh, locals um, and who tells me this very lovely village of Spanberg was in fact uh, in the uh, East Germany um, and uh, bang on the border only a few hundred meters so the, the river Tsaal uh, here was the border and um, there's nothing now to see though he told me it's all it's all been taken away Because people live in border zones needed special permission that we'd be able to do so. I tried to ask him why the village hadn't been destroyed by the authorities, because they did that in many cases. Okay, this is a very, very beautiful area. So I think what I'll do now is I'm going to go back and have a bit more nosy around the village. But this really does um, incite me even more to have a cycling trip around Germany in the summer. So many things I want to do and so little time to do them in. I'm fortunate, more fortunate than most because I have more time. How many times have I been down here and I've missed this this wonderful scenery? Usually because I was going to some trade fair in uh, in the south of France or, or, or whatever. Um, I was here last week and I, I thought I've got to come and have a look at this. Or two weeks ago rather as well I was here. <laughs> and uh, and this, this, I'm really glad I've had the opportunity to come here and see this. See by the let how they the length of the shadows, the uh, uh, the time of year it is. So just put an extra jumper on, so we've got four layers of clothing on, so it's a bit, bit in the clothing, bit, bit in the cold side. Nice. Can't see my breath in front of me. It's the wind. Wonder if we got there. Maybe not on the bike today. It's too cold, but for a walk. Only one kilometre from here to Hof. And there is a wonderful hotel building. Zum Sautelal. Zaletal, sorry. Fortega Rudolstein. And there's the river down the bottom, which was, I've now learned, the border between east and west. Um, so I'm going to go down to the river. I'm very glad to say that this, this wonderful church did survive the uh, East German dictatorship and uh, today what would have been in the, the, the death zone um, is a playground. The river here, which marked the border. really hard to imagine now what it would have like, looked like 20 years ago. I mean, fair enough, they could, I mean, a border could have gone here, but how how they stopped from, I mean, the village is really close. There seems to have been a bit of a plain, but you'd expect a flood plain anyway. But we want to see from houses up there, looking directly into uh, West German territory, which is only 
a couple of hundred meters away. Oh, it's really attractive. I can't hear the motorway. I think I'm watching that would eventually get to me, that, that noise. 